Day eight has arrived and fixing up our breakfast. Coffee, oatmeal with uh, blueberries and raspberries and yogurt. Drink yogurt. Yeah, that we have never tried before, but it's easy to <coughs> carry and we eat it all up now for breakfast. The tent is gone, it's up and drying. Uh, so we moved here for breakfast because there were mosquitoes over there and here is uh, more, more windy and a little bit sunny was before as well. And a gorgeous morning. Yeah. A uh, perfect day, but maybe rain today. Yeah. They say it's going to be rain. Yeah. The beer lake. No. Björsjön. Aha. Björsjön. 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 So today we're gonna hit um, the third section of this uh, CSC hike and that section begins over there. Yeah. <coughs> ah. And looking forward to this, it was a great night's sleep. There was a little bit of a party here yesterday, so they screamed and shouted and, uh, <laughs> and uh, lived their own lives, but uh, they were gone, I think. 10, 30, 11 something. So after that we have slept like babies, both of us. And we- The we, best night. Yeah, we, oh, uh, we, the clock uh, goes off at six. And uh, even though we, we snoozed three times, so 6.30 we left the bed. And I, uh, we, we both even slept a little bit more. Yeah, so, so uh, oh. really slept in today. So that was, yeah. uh, it feels good. Yeah. And it was a long day yesterday, so we super, need it. Super, super long. We really need it. I, I feel it now. I, I'm tired in my body. I can really feel that. So, but now it's breakfast time, so see you on the road. Now we say bye bye, and now we're starting to walk. Hallandsleden. And we are heading off around 8.30 I think, 8.45. So, but we slept into 6.30 because of the screaming and shouting yesterday. But now we're up and running and we go. And we, today we want to pitch our tent uh, earlier. Could it be around uh, around four o'clock? We, we would be really, really happy because we had a long day and a hot day yesterday. So, <clears throat> oh, keep on walking. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, it's fine. Oh, what a place. I think they maybe have sheep in here. Now, change of scenery again. And I think this must be an old trail. Because now again, Hallandsleden turns right, then we, we go left. So, maybe this is the old one, but here is beautiful. Up there, there was a much, much harder to walk, so we couldn't film there. But 
here is super, super nice. Soft and a beautiful view. Now look at this, guys. Nice. And we got Anna down there. What are you doing down there, my friend? You're following in the path? The train is here. We cannot put the phone down. We have to follow the train in here the whole time. Yeah. And this must be an old part of Hallandsleden or something else because we see the orange dots. Yeah, and oh, they are really old. Yeah. So they are not new. And the other path was much, much newer. And there's someone built a little wind shelter. Yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. Well, this trail is big. Ah, begins to look a bit just forest. They, they, they have been an old trail here. But this is, this is how we walk right now. It's not so pleasant. Oh, because it hurts. Where are you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is not a trail anymore. It's no. just uh, forest walking. Yeah, it had been a trail, but at the moment it's just an animal track. Yeah. Look what we found. A horn, moose horn. Beautiful. Take it with you in your backpack? No. Keep on walking. This is no hike. This is more yeah. forest uh, running. I don't know the name of it. No. But... but here's no trail. No trail at all. No. So all day we started up with a Hallandsleder and, and now it's just bush walking. It, this it's is no trail. No. I'm bleeding. Ah, the the, the, the yeah. legs are totally. Yeah. Up, uh, so if you walk, walk this, uh, just go by Hallandsleden. Yeah, top two is horrible. Uh, up, top three, the beginning is horrible. Section three, yeah. it's uh, not existing. No. But this was nice to see a, a moose horn in the yeah. wild. I've never seen that. I, I think I have when I was young, but uh, it was a long time ago. And moose shit. The blood is dried off, all the dirt is gone, and uh, two or three uh, ticks. But, but look, all these flies, I, I'm, I'm panicked. <laughs> yeah. I just so. want to sit down, relax, have a cup oh. of coffee, and eat a million of flies. <laughs> so, this part of the trail, don't walk here. But I just have to see how far have we walked. Only one and a half hours, three kilometers. It's just bushwhacking. Five kilometers in one and a half hours. Yeah, nice. So this this part is a no-go zone. But we still have fun. We still have hope. And like we, like me and Anna says in the deep jungle of Sweden, we were lucky. It was no rain, so it was dry, or else we had gonna sink down. So. Now we must uh, watch the map more carefully because we cannot walk this uh, trail all, all the way because it's grown, uh, grown again. So, but a nice day again, sunny, super heat, a lot of cow flies. <laughs> And now we're out on easier road again. We have to make a little detour. Uh, one or two kilometers the wrong way and then go back because it was just thick, thick bush. You, you couldn't walk there. So we have to uh, take another detour, but it's okay. The walking we can do, it's the, uh, the heavy lifting we have problem with. So, but now uh, eight kilometers in, and a lovely, lovely road.
And now we are almost uh, eating lunch. The chef is uh, busy. For lunch today, uh, noodle, noodle dish. Ah. And coffee and banana. Yeah, coffee and banana for dessert. Yeah, and we're just laying down <laughs> like this, chilling, having a great time after hiking in the woods. Hi that was no hike. No, no. Rumbling, no. Yeah. rumble, stumble in the woods. Yeah, that, that was not the fun part. I, I, I didn't enjoy that. It was too hot. You have to have the gear for that, and I, I, I don't have the gear for that. I look at this, look at your shirt. Yeah. He is bloody. Bloody. I dried up. All my left arm was filled with blood earlier. So, but now, now we're on the right. That was the right path, but uh, didn't update the map. So the, the map is a little bit old, unfortunately. But now we're a little, little bit of a roundabout to extra kilometers, and now we're here, and now we're on the right path again. And this was the last spot, and now we hit the woods after this. So. We said it's lunchtime, so we have walking for two and a half hour, and we have walked ten kilometers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that take it take times. Yeah, and uh, we we take uh, about two hours to ten, depends on the on the ground. This is ups and downs and so on. So for ten kilometers, but now I'm really really tired. Yeah, and I have. One more tick here, I think. Oh. Um. Just uphill now on this dirt road, but oh. we have left the very tight forest. So this is nice, but it's uphill. Yeah, and a little bit of a breeze up here as well, and not so much sun. Ah, oh, it's good. Yeah, but it's really piping hot today. I think we have 25 now, yeah. and that is just the beginning of the afternoon. So today is going to be hot. Yeah, that is... Maybe some rain later on. We have to see. If it's going to rain today. It's going to be thunder. Oh, and we like thunder, but maybe not in the tent. <laughs> ah, what an adventure! Here we are. Five minutes rest. The shoes are off and, and it's hot. sitting down. Yeah, it's very, very hot. Oh, and the mosquito bites on my legs yeah. are amazing. Ah. But I, oh, we haven't told you. We have the uh, mosquito spray. Mosquito spray with us. Huh? So we took that the other night and it was good. Yeah, decent. Yeah, uh, it was. One hour maybe it, it worked. Yeah, then you have to add on. Yeah, but we didn't add on anything. We just used it for one hour, but... It was a lemon... I don't know. Lemon ecopalypse. Ecopalypse. So here is the beautiful place we found. I wonder what they have found, what they are going to do with this. I don't know. But it was built so we can sit down, so that, that's why we. Then th th this place was calling us, and uh, it's windy as well, so we can flee from the mosquitoes, and that feels good as well. But a beautiful place. Just for banana. Just for banana, and every other hiker who going on the Hallandsled. Oh, via Svesia. A nice reindeer. <coughs> And then he's drinking water. <laughs> so now I think we have maximum one hour left. So hopefully maximum. I'm tired. We are tired. It's been a long day. Yeah, and, uh, yesterday is still ah. in our legs, but I, I have to move. I cannot sit. No, there. it's too many. Uh, the flies oh. is uh, they, they have, uh, biting. It's biting. Yeah, biting flies.
And now we have an amazing trail again in a forest. And we see the first people of today with dogs. Hey! First people of today! And here we have an intersection in the wood. Chilling with my feet in the, what was the name? A de Danish, Danish waterfalls. Continue down there, so. But it's super nice. And I can see if I can climb up there and uh, video some more. There's some of the waterfall, go down there. Pretty steep. Yep. Oh, beautiful. And the people up there, in the wood as well. And it was nice and cold on your feet. I think my feet shrunk like two sizes. Too big now. Ah. I think thumb, thumbnail Anna. Are we thumbnail? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe. thumbnail. Maybe. But, but it's dark. But you see the waterfalls down there and up there we were, we were swimming. So now we're standing like this? But I'm a yellow. But it looks dark, but we never know. We never know. Oh, but a good good little clean up here. And met some lovely people again. Everywhere we go. Oh you're walking so far. So this is Danske Fallen, the Danish Falls. And for you who saw our video yesterday, when I was talking about the no, not so much, much rain and low water levels, here you can see that in the lake here. The water should be up here, but it's way down there. So it's a big difference, but what a trail. Here we really enjoy this, it's amazing. Stalin. This is our destination for today. Somewhere around here we're going to set camp. We don't know yet. We have to see. Now we are in the store. We don't know what to buy. A lot of red prices. Maybe some yogurt. And yes, we're going for the ice cream. And look, they have lemon sorbet, like I said, my, my favorite. So I will go for lemon sorbet so and, and uh, raspberry sorbet. Yeah. Raspberry sorbet. And you took dulce leche and... Nothing more. Nothing more. You just take one. Yeah. Oh. Going for dinner after this. Thank you. Um, maybe I will just go for lemon sorbet then. Mm.
as you could see, the that place was crowded of people with people. So we just took a shower and uh, had new clothes. You can see, I, I, I'm smell fresh again, and we were heading on. So we walked 50 minutes more. Huh. Yeah. So we ended up here. It's not the ideal place because you can see it's a bridge over there but i don't think there's gonna be so much traffic later on yeah and we are super tired so, so we, we don't have the stamina to walk anymore today so the, it was that was the first fastest spot we found but we have a bench we have a, a tent that has set up the tent um, sticks in like in mud so we have hopefully it they will stay in place and for dinner then what do you cook we got classic potato mashed potatoes and meatballs with lingon berries of course how can you camp without lingon berries <laughs> so lingon Lingon! And this we eat because we had uh, leftover lingon from uh, back home. So this I have carried around for eight days now. For eight days. <laughs> I, I promise I will eat a lot of lingon. We have to, we have to. So, yeah, we didn't do any dishes since lunch. Uh, we didn't find that uh, great water yet. No. So, But here we are at this lake. And it felt so so nice to, to swim and I and here of course we have the laundry maybe they will dry in the wind yeah. is this the end of day eight it must be it must be so thank you so much for coming along with Denena on day eight on our long long hike or maybe so, should, should we show them the result when it's done? Oh, we will, you want to we'll see that? We'll be back that? with 30 seconds uh, more about the mashed potato and the meatballs. Yeah, if you want to see, thumb up. Dinner is done. I made me a flat bread with uh, just cucumber in it. And I made a ling lingon pile. <laughs> Here, lingon and meatballs. There's the finished result. And the taste of the cucumber. Oh, mm. This is going to pour everywhere. The bread was really fresh and nice. Yes, it was soft. Yeah. And usually you don't take this much lingon berries. But now we're not going to carry it anymore. I think we're going to have to because it's a lot of lingon mm. berries left. Good? Mm. Hot? Mm. Uh. So, now we eat up and then we go to bed. I I'm super, super tired. Thumb up. Thank you for coming along. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.